that I would show you what I got from Dollar Tree and Dollar General yesterday. We did go to Walmart too, but mostly I got food. Here's the thing I got from Walmart that I love that they didn't have last time I was looking for, the candy jelly hearts. Mm, so good. Not good for you at all. It's, you know, full of artificial colors and flavors and everything, but so good. So I'll probably regret it later, but they taste pretty good right now. Okay, let me show you what I got. Let's start with Dollar Tree first. So I like to get the Crunch and Munch from them. This is really good for a little snack. There's not a ton in here, so you can't eat too many of them, as long as you only get one box at a time. So that's something just kind of silly. I think they probably have these all the time, possibly. But these are way cheaper there than they're at Walmart. And I use these for the New Year's party at school. So I went ahead and got two deals of these. For next year so I'll just put it back in my January stuff and I'll have it ready to go and yes friends that's right I got more of these little they're not acrylic they're like plastic hearts I think I got five bags of them two three four yeah I think I have another one somewhere too yeah and then my daughter got some lilac seeds so I need to give those to her all right so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those in just a second when I can find the rest of my stuff. All right. This doesn't go with that. So let me keep the like things together. I got a... Oh, there. Trying to keep my holiday stuff together. Okay. So here's the game. Okay. Here we go. So I was watching um, Ashley Lacer's vlog where she was talking about her math stations, math centers, whatever you want to call them, math tubs. I call them all kinds of things. Anyway. And she had this game that is um, basically under the cup, I think is what it's called. It's a, what's the name of the math program that uses it? Um, if you know what I'm talking about, maybe you can help me out. But anyway, basically it's Friends of 10. And so that's why I got, I did get five of these. There's another one floating around somewhere in the world. But um, so I got enough for all of my kids to play this at the same time. I kind of like to do that when I'm teaching it and then I put the extras back for when like these cups will break eventually they're plastic but they are you know they're pretty sturdy I wanted to do something better than paper cups because they will smush them a little more these should hold up pretty good there's six of these for a dollar I didn't think that was too bad so I did get end up getting 12 so I'll just keep a couple back because I only have 20 kids in my class and they, they play with a partner so basically you take 10 of these and the one partner covers their eyes or turns around or hides their face or whatever so they don't look the other person puts however many of the hearts under the cup and turns it over. And then the other person goes, oh, well, there's four outside the cup. So that means there'll be six inside the cup because they just subtract whatever. Take 10, subtract whatever is sitting outside the cup to figure out what's in the cup. And that's how the game is played. And it's a great way to practice the friends of 10. So I thought that would be a cute little game to have out. And it is Valentine-y, but I really don't think the kids will even mind. <laughs> If they do it more than just in February. Because I really think they need addition and subtraction practice any way they can get it. Because we want them to be more fluent in their single digit math facts. So they can do double digit, tri triple digit, whatever later. So that's one game that I, I'm going to put together. And I'll probably just put them in little Ziploc bags or something like Ashley had in hers. Another thing I found that's Valentine-y are these scarves. There's one. Isn't that cute for a dollar? And I took a tip from Teresa from Cha Cha Cakes because she's a, a veteran of Dollar Tree shopping. She says to get two and tie them together so it's thicker, which I've done because they are kind of thin. I don't know if you can tell how thin they are, but you can kind of see through them. See that? And they're not super, super long. They're cute though. And you could just wear one like if you want a really light look, but if you want to be a little thicker and more substantial, you can tie them together and make a, like a, an infinity scarf with it. So I got those for Valentine time. And then I found these cute little heart suckers. And I thought that'd be cute for the kids' little Valentine treats. One of the things. For a dollar and you get 22. So that's enough for my class. I have 20 in my class right now. So that'll be perfect. I might go back and get some more of those. Because they would probably like those for game treats. Alright, I think that's all my Valentine stuff from Dollar Tree. Now let's move into St. Patrick's Day, shall we? All right, so I've been getting the little hanger thingy decorations. I chose this one because I didn't really like the uh, little like leprechaun hats so much. They looked a little cheesy to me. So I thought this would be really cute hanging by my flag. That's where I've started hanging stuff, and it's kind of cool to make it seasonal. 
So that's neat. And then they had scarves. They had two different, two different kinds, but I got this one. The other one has, I think, I think it had leprechaun hats on it. So I like this one better. The little shamrocks of all different shapes and colors and designs. And of course I got two so I could make an infinity scarf with it, but I thought those were super cute. We're St. Patrick's Day meeting Irish heritage and all. And then look what else they have that I got a bajillion of. Okay, so there are only 30 in these. The hearts come in 50s, but the little coins only come in 30s. I thought these would be fabulous for math. So I might try to find, like, uh, Walmart might have, like, St. Patrick's Day cups like this. Or I might just even have, I don't know, just green cups or something. Because you can get the paper cups pretty cheap. They could play the under the cup game too, you know, the friends of 10 with this. But I'm thinking I have a St. Patrick's Day math pack in my TPT store that has a bump game. And I thought maybe we could use these somehow for that, possibly. Not sure exactly. But definitely would be good for even just like roll and cover games because I know I have some of those too. So these would be great for covering those. And I'll show you for your pot of gold. So I thought that would be cute. I got, I don't even know how many bags, like 12 bags or something. Because I wanted 20. That way I have, you know, extras for next year and for some to get lost in someone's pocket probably. Anyway, I thought those were super cute. Okay, that's all of Dollar Tree. Now let's go to Dollar General. Okay, I thought my daughter would like these. Aren't those cute little heart pretzels? Super cute. I thought she'd really, really like those. She likes the, uh, like, almond bark covered pretzels, so I got those for her. Those are nice. And going with the theme of the hangy thingy, we had to have one for Valentine's, and Dollar Tree didn't have anything. So I got this from Dollar General. Isn't that cute? And it's pretty substantial. It feels pretty heavy. Now this was $3 and that one was a dollar. You can see this one's substantially bigger than that one. But I thought that would be really, really cute. And it has a little ribbon hanger here. I thought that would be fun to put in my classroom for February. And then the pièce de résistance, the whole reason that I traversed to Dollar General in the first place. If I can get the bag open. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Ba-doom. Yes, that's right, friends. I found the elusive mini erasers at Dollar General. Now, they didn't have enough. I bought them all out. I think they were three of each kind. They've got the emoji ones. Aren't those cute? And then they have the conversation heart ones. They had three bags of each, which I'm going to show you in a second if I can navigate the bag. Okay, three bags of each. Now, these are just like the dollar spot erasers. I mean, seriously, look. 60 count per dollar. Yeah. And these are thicker than the dollar spot ones generally are. Look at that. So, I was not unhappy that I found these. Now, these I got in the town that I work in. And then I checked. Yes, I did. I checked the town that I live in on the way home, and they did not have them at all. So I'm hoping that when I make my big shopping adventure tomorrow, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to the town that's an hour away and the town that's half an hour away, I'm going to check both of those stores to see if they have these. I like to have at least six bags of each kind, and that way I have plenty for my roll and cover games. And now for my strategy games where the kids go completely bananas over. So they're really great for all kinds of things. I mean, you can use them for literacy too, which I haven't done. I have used them for like bingo markers and things too because the kids just get a kick out of using like a seasonal thing. But how cute are these? I mean, look at that. For a dollar, I mean. And I cannot find the Target dollar spot erasers to save my life. So I'm hoping maybe the Target in the town half an hour away or an hour away, either one, will have those because they're supposed to have like unicorns and like pizza hearts. I mean, come on, who doesn't want those? So anyway, that's my little haul that I got. Oh, they also had something I've never seen before. So we're big fans of bubble tape. I talked about that during Christmas, how that's a tradition. I always get my daughter bubble tape for holidays. And look at this. This is tangy tropical. I've never seen this flavor. I've only seen like bubblegum flavored bubble tape that's pink. So they had this at Dollar General and I went, oh, impulse buy at the register. 
whoever put the stuff there did their job. The marketing ploy worked. I fell for it. But I went, oh my gosh, that's a different color. Let me see what that is. I pick it up. I'm like, oh, tangy tropical. Let's try it. Yeah. So I think that was like a dollar. No biggie. Anyway, I thought that was really good. So that is all my awesome purchases from Dollar General. And I think, hold on a second, and I'll see if I can find the stuff that I got the last time I was at Target that I didn't show you. No, I just made a giant mess on my bed. Mm -hmm. That is okay. Here's what I found at Target when I showed you the cool stuff they had in the aisle, but I didn't show you what I got. Look at this lovely scarf. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. It's gorgeous. The springy colors. I think that's just pretty. It's like a minty, almost a limey mint color, if that's even a color. And then like a, I don't know what you call that. A really like a gray blue and like a peachy color, but a bright peach and like a bright, I see that's a pineapple yellow because, you know, I love pineapples, but I thought that was so pretty. And think of the things you could wear this with. I mean, that would be so great. So I got that. And what else did I get? Oh, they had... I'm a sucker for their notepads. And I think I just saw Kayla Marie say that she got this in her last vlog. <laughs> so shout out to Kayla Marie. If you're not subscribed to her channel, head on over there. She's a, she was a kindergarten teacher. Now she's teaching fourth grade in a different school. So yeah, but she, I think she just showed that she got this one too. I love how it's like, it's got the little lines and stuff. So you can like check mark and little hearts and you put your little, whatever you need to do in there. So that'll be going cool. Anything else in this bag I want to show you? It might just be more of the same. Oh, they have these bath bombs. Aren't these cute? I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, so this is berry cream. I think they had pink ones at one time too. So I'm hoping when I go to another Target that they'll have more of these because they were, I bought them out. They only had like two. So I got them and then I got these for sticker stories which I forgot to put the Christmas ones out. What a dope. So I'm going to try to remember to put these out for Valentine's because, oh my gosh, I feel bad. So I think I'm going to alternate between like one month of sticker stories and one month of like finish the picture and write something to go with it kind of stories because honestly, these kids could just sticker you out of, you know, food. <laughs> so I got, I think I got three. No, I think I got four things of these. But they're limited, so they can only use three stickers. So they're going to have to pick and choose. But look how cute those are. They get the little puppy and the llama and the poodle and the kitty. Aw. So really cute and little hearts. Different faces. For a dollar, you get 200 stickers. Look at the unicorns. Ah ha ha. See, I want those in erasers. That's what their erasers are supposed to look like. So I'm dying for those. So, y'all, if you can hook me up, I would love you forever. And I would pay you back so much but like my target they don't seem to have the, the mini erasers unless it's halloween or christmas so i'm kind of disappointed with that but i'm gonna keep checking in different places and see what i can come up with so that's i think that's pretty much everything oh so i found these cute little clips these little lip clips huh. why do they call them paper clips they're lip clips come on people <sighs> what's up with people not rhyming things anyway these are super cute. I thought that'd be fun for my desk at school. I only had one package of those. And then they had some little nail decals. <laughs> it was funny. The cashier was like, oh. she." I told her that I was a teacher. I was getting some of the stuff. She goes, oh, I bet your kids will love these. I'm like, "Um, yeah, my kids will love these. And I'm thinking, these are for me, honey. Because <laughs> I could take a plain nail like this and put a little decal on there and make it super cute. So, like an accent nail. Yep, I think. I think that's the same as I just showed you. And then there's some different ones. Yeah, so they had two different kinds. And then, look at these cute little sockies. Look at that. So, fries before guys. That's for my daughter. Polka dotties. And then I got stripies. And if you see doubles of stuff, it's because I got myself some too. Because who does not need some Valentine socks in their lives? Got some of those. I think that is everything that I found. Oh, here's another one. That's a different one. Okay, so I think I got my daughter three pairs and I got me three pairs because I don't need a fries before guys because I'm married and I'm done. I'm not on the market. I won't be ever again. So I got these with the little arrows. Aren't those cute? And then these for Caitlin. Those will be for me. Really cute. And, you know, for a dollar... 
pretty nice. Very cute. Okay, that's my big messy haul. I think that is all. So, oh, I also got a journal, but I don't think it's in here. Let me see if I can find well, it. Well, I didn't find the journal that I got, but it's really cute. And if I ever do find it, I'll show it to you. I've put it somewhere <laughs> in a safe place. Yeah, it's safe for me. But I did find something else when I was looking. Look, I got some. I forgot that I had these. I got some winter stickers for sticker stories. How cute are these with the little foxes and the penguins? Look, it's so cute. So that'd be great for sticker stories too. Look at that. And they're sparkly, some of them. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there's you can see it glisten a little bit. So cute. Okay, let me see if I can get it open. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh dear. I think I have discombobulated one of the penguins. Okay, let me see if I can maybe just open a different one. Okay, this one's not stuck. Look at the sparkles. And it says sleigh all day. Oh, what fun. So it's just wintry. It's not Christmassy. It's just wintry. You've got like evergreens and polar bears and foxes and penguins. How cute. I'm thinking some of these need to go in my planner. And they've got some sparkly snowflakes here too. Yeah, I'm not sure the kids are ever going to see these. No, I'm just kidding. I might rip this one out and just have them use these. Because I'm liking all the little doodads. But like on a spelling test or something, wouldn't your kids go crazy to have like a penguin or a fox or a polar bear or something on there? I mean, how cute. Super cute. So, yeah. For a dollar, you cannot beat 200. 500 stickers. Sorry, 500. Because some of these are smaller than the ones I showed you from the Valentine section. But yeah. And I think I only got three of these. But yeah. That, I believe, is the end of my broadcast day. Yes. I think that is all. So I think I'm going to get into some, well, I'm already in comfy clothes, so I don't have to change. <laughs> but I think I'm going to have a little snack because all I had to eat today was some scrambled eggs and like half a piece of toast and a banana. So I'm a little, little noshy right now. My husband won't be home for another hour, which means we won't have pizza for another like hour and a half. So I don't think I can make it that long without a little something, something. So I think I'm going to have a little bit of cheese bread and some cranberry juice and a little bit of tea. And probably some of these little dudes because they're so good for me. And I will talk to you next time. So I hope you had a fabulous week, short or long as it was. And take it easy. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.